morning beasts. Hope you're having a sick morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching this. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through what I put in my tennis bag and why, but but first let's get let's get pumped. Let's get ready. Uh, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> Mum doesn't know what she's talking about. Getting a hundred subscribers on YouTube will get you laid. So this is my tennis bag and I got back from training earlier this morning, so I've left basically everything that I had in it in it. And yeah, I'll just go with, go through with you everything I've got in here. So let's uh let's start with my near side. Uh, shoes, relatively important for tennis. Pretty hard to play barefoot. Slides. Uh, I use this brand Ufus. They're not the greatest looking slides, uh, especially if you suck and slide it. But I mean, who really cares what they look like when they're that comfortable? Myself and Slug Luke Savile, we both wear these and we've been wearing them for over a year now and by far the comfiest slides I've ever used. They've got um, adjustable adjustable uh, straps at the top so any foot will fit. Super thick, super soft, super light and if I'm not in tennis shoes, basically this is what you'll find me in 24-7. So, Rufus. Second up. More of like my casual kind of wear running shoes just around tennis. Um, you can do a gym in them. I wouldn't necessarily run in them, but again, super comfortable. Uh, the brand is On. Uh, it's Fred's brand, uh, Fred's brand of shoe, and again, the most comfortable casual slash uh, I guess sport wear shoes I've ever worn. On the more expensive end, but again, you pay for comfort and it's definitely worth it. So. Yeah, these bad boys. Third, uh, my tennis shoes. At the moment I'm wearing Nike. I have been for the last probably three years and the Vapor X's are the best shoe I've worn. I've had a lot of issues with um, the bone on the side of my foot where just any kind of hard shoe will really push against it, especially through the outside here. And these I've had no issues with. They're light, they last a long time, for me especially. Um, that's a huge thing because when you're traveling for such a long time, you want to make sure that your shoes are lasting a fair while as well. And yeah, they, don't, they, they take no time to break in, so highly recommend wearing, wearing these shoes. I don't think they sell them anymore, which is a huge bummer. They're moving on to the new model, but they're still not available to be bought yet, so I'm kind of just hanging on, hanging on to the last few pairs of these i got left and yeah, trying to limit as much movement as I can at the moment, just, you know, otherwise I'm going to have to be playing tennis barefoot, basically. So, tennis shoes. Grips. I'm a religious user of Torna grips. Uh, any other grips I can't use, I sweat out of my hands way too much. So, huge advocate of these grips. I don't even go through them that often, that's how good they are. Like, generally, obviously, I'll start every match with, with a new grip, but in training, very rarely do I need to put on a new grip. So, one, like, if you are having to buy these grips, great affordability and durability, so 100% recommend. And yeah, usually I'm not a huge advocate of going in dry, but for tennis grips, you know, Gotta go in dry. Next up is the Vibert. Uh, I mentioned this in my last video, but again, not only is it good for recovery after matches, training, all the above, it's great for warming up and just really helping to immobilize those muscles and joints through your legs, your lower back, uh, really wherever, um, especially with the vibrating. The vibrating tool it has uh, the three levels of vibrations. It's it's great for warming up muscle before I'm starting any of my physical warm-ups for you know, the warm-ups of my matches or or my actual matches or training sessions. So this is always going to be in my bag, and it doesn't take longer than five or ten minutes, and you and you really start feeling the benefits. So I highly recommend getting one of these and, and keeping them in your tennis bag. Now again, another bit of recovery. Uh, this is like a stretching band. It's a uh, it's great for your hammies, your lower back, and your groin. That's the three places I generally use it for. It's super long, so you generally put like, you know, one end under your back and then the other end around your foot and basically just go ham until your leg snaps off. No, I probably don't do that, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Uh, again, you don't have to use this stuff for long. Before, after, matches, training, wherever. A little bit of time, it all ends up adding up, right? So. A little bit every day and you're going to feel great, you know, six months, a year down the track, you're going to be thanking yourself for it. So, get one of these and use it. Alright, um, my, 
my toiletries bag. Uh, basically any scissors, nail clippers, all that, that's gonna be in here as well as my uh, band-aids and tape. Uh, very rarely do I need tape, it's, it's really only for my fingers, um, but as of lately they've been pretty good. So also some sunscreen, zinc, uh, I got a huge nose so I try and cover that with zinc as much as I can, but it's that big, it ends up just getting burnt anyway, so yeah, I probably end up with no nose in, in some years time, but it's fine, um, we'll deal with that when it comes, but pretty basic stuff, everyone should have one of these in their bags. Uh, basically I just took any bag I could find around the house, and in here I've got basically just my, like, TheraBands. Um, I've got some different handles here for them, and and yes, yeah, TheraBands for my for my ankles, um, for my hips, and yeah, for my upper body kind of stuff here. Just some light work to get me warmed up before matches and do some prehab and rehab work. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, a skipping rope. Again, my coach is a huge advocate of, of getting me skipping and getting me on my toes before we play. Just really helps me feel ready. And yeah, that, that's all that's in that bag. So again, I think everyone should have some TheraBands in their bags. It's a great little tool, especially if you end up being stuck in your hotel room like I am a lot with quarantine. It's just, it helps you keep active and it helps you keep those muscles free and moving and keeps you on top of your body, so recommend that. Rackets. Uh, I'm currently sponsored by Dunlop and I use the FX500 Tour Racket, the blue and black paint job. I've been using this since it came out last July. Loved it. Super easy on the arm, super easy on the wrist, elbow. Uh, great feel, great control, which is great for me because I, I need that. I come to the net a lot and I feel like it just gives me that extra edge. And actually really powerful as well. So again, great for me when I'm trying to counter punch at the back of the court or generate and as well as getting some good stick on my volleys. So I can't see myself moving from this racket anytime soon. I love it. Um, definitely give it a try if you're looking for another racket or something easier on your arm. And yeah, I'll always bring with me six rackets. I mean, maybe I only have two strung, but there are always six there, just because after that session, I might need to chuck you know, all four of those next rackets in to be strung, because I have a big few days of training coming up. So yeah, always six in my bag. String. I'm using this Dunlop string called Explosive Tour. I don't know why it hasn't gotten it written on the reel, but yeah, Dunlop Explosive Tour, and that goes in the crosses, and I'm using Battle at VS Touch uh, 1.30 gauge in the mains. Uh, again, for the way I play coming to the net using my slice, hitting pretty flat, um, especially from the backhand side, gut is a necessity. It's expensive, but it's definitely worth it, um, I think. So, yeah, I mean, screw around with it a bit, do what you want. I definitely try this. Well, maybe don't, because once you try it, you won't want to go back and it's uh, it breaks a bank. But again, it really makes training and playing matches way more fun, way more enjoyable. We just feel like you can do so much more with the ball and yeah, I'm gonna keep this in my in my strings for a long time. Electrolytes. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, this brand Coda, they give me these electrolytes. Uh, I've also done a sweat test with them as well to see how many milligrams of sodium I'll need in my in my drinks per hour. Because I can kind of, uh, I've, I've figured out, I guess, how much sodium I lose in my sweat per amount of it, and yeah, and I can kind of figure out on the temperature of the day and how much I'm sweating, how much I'll need of this. But these are always in my bag. I mean, they make more and more to taste better, and yeah, they're they're a great product. It's, it's straight sodium for the most part, so you know, you're not adding any extra any extra calories if you don't need them. It's just yeah, I. Even sip on them throughout the day, just because, why not? Um, these are always gonna stay in my bag and they're a great company and I recommend trying their stuff out. They've also got energy gels if, you, if you're about those. I'm not really, I prefer to eat, eat my energy for the most part and their protein powder is great as well. And their energy bars, their energy bars are sick, all natural. Last up, we got some dommies, some jimmies, rubbers. You just never know when you're gonna have a big week or win a big match, right? So, guaranteed, if you have a big week or win a big match, you're gonna be swimming in it, like drowning in it. And I'm a big advocate of being safe, so don't be silly, wrap your willy. Yeah, so that's everything that's in my tennis bag. If I'm playing matches or training, I'll generally be, bring a little duffel bag with me as well, which has change of clothes, sweatbands, hats, towels, um, my drink bottles, and any extra food that I'll, I'll need. But 
again, that's kind of um, dependent on what I'm doing uh, during the day, what I'm doing after, before, but again, that always changes, so I thought I'd just keep it simple with what comes with me everywhere whilst I go to a tennis court, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that little video of, of everything I have in my bag and, and why it's in there, and catch you in the next ones, peace. Do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, sweetie, do it. 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 Come on, do it. Do it. Seriously, seriously.